Hello everybody, this is Moses from Wilona's Cave. Um, I, this video is uh, coming about because I've been getting a lot of responses on Facebook and Reddit, here on YouTube, etc. about how my mind works playing solo. People have told me they are inspired by the things I do with this channel even though the channel, I, th I think we're about three months old here, or I, I, no, there's no we, it's just me, solo. Um, but the channel is about three months old or so. Uh, but I didn't think it would, um, you know, uh, inspire so many people. But when they t what they tell me is, consistently, is I'm trying to do what you're doing, Moses, but it's just not working together or I'm, I'm frustrated or I just, I hit a dead end. You know, how in the world do you just, you know, roll on a random tables and just come up with, you know, pathways? One, there's editing. So sometimes I'm thinking and then I cut it to make it look like I came up with it really quickly. 80 to 90% of the time I'm coming up with it quickly. Uh, but I am... Uh, I'm editing a lot, and I'm slowly editing less. It's a lot funner uh, because I know that if I have a long video, I'm like, I'm okay with that because I'm not going to edit that much. I don't have to freak out over that. I only have so much time in the, in, in, in the day. Um, like that um right there that you just heard, I would edit that in the video. And I don't want to do all that anymore. So um, 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 um. <laughs> Okay, so the point of this video is, and I probably will put a crafty little title to it so you can kind of feel what it's about, um, is a quick scenario of how I use these charts. This is all from Mythic. Um, there's the fade chart. Here is the randomness. Here's the uh, of action. Here's the subject. And here's the event focus table. Uh, so... Uh, this right here, if you roll doubles under your chaos rank, we're gonna do a little short story. Uh, we're gonna oh, we're gonna start at chaos rank five, and it's only gonna stay at chaos rank five. But it's gonna be at chaos rank five, and if you roll a fifty-five, a forty-four, a thirty-three, a twelve, or an eleven, those are doubles. You go to the event focus tables and roll on that. So this is a D one hundred, D one hundred, D one hundred. D100 and D100. So with that, we're going to make a story. Now it's like, oh, cool. We're going to do some kind of heroic adventure, Moses, like Gorm and Jasper, the tavern keep and everybody. No. We're going to do a story about a young man that's trying to become somebody in his life, trying to prove himself to his friends and family that don't really believe in him. It's a Monday morning. Michael is in his bed. It's 6.55 a.m., 7 o'clock, the alarm's gonna go off. He went to bed late last night and he's rather tired. And he is still exhausted, tossing and turning at night, dehydrated. Maybe he was partying. I don't know. But now the time is 7 a.m. and the clock goes off. Michael is an assistant manager at a, a big firm. Assistant supervisor. And he wants to keep impressing his boss so he can get promoted one day. But he sees that the clock went off. The alarm went off at 7 a.m. Does Michael hit the snooze button? Now this is a... So in my mind, when I play like this, or if I'm writing a story, do I allow myself as the player to just say he is the PC playable character he is the PC I control him 
I am him. But for the sake of randomness, let's say it's a 50-50 shot. So right here. So a 50, these the big bold numbers or bigger numbers are the yeses. So the higher we go on the chaos rank, the more likely you get a yes. The lower you go on the chaos rank, the less likely you get a yes. So at 50-50, at 50 or below, it's a, a, a yes. Does he hit the snooze? Here we go. He does not. So he gets up. So Michael gets up. He's ready for the day. Or he tells himself he is. He goes to the bathroom. Does what he needs to do. I don't think I have to re role play that out. Then goes to the sink and looks at his eyes. His eyes are really bloodshot. You know, maybe he was partying, you know, not many, you know, it's not smart to party at Sunday night, you know, before you go to work, but regardless, see, maybe he was partying. Splashes some water on his face, brushes his teeth, does a quick shave. Uh, I would say it's about 7.15, 7.20. He needs to be out the door no later than 7.30 in case there's traffic or something like that to get to work on time at 8. So... He's finished. Um, he looks at his breakfast. He doesn't really feel good eating the breakfast, but he drinks a lot of water because he's, like I said, dehydrated or feel, it feels like he's dehydrated. So he drinks a lot of water. He goes outside. He's dressed. He's fully dressed. He has a tie on, everything like that. He didn't go outside half naked <laughs> or in his pajamas. He's fully dressed and he heads outside. Opens his car, sits in his car. He starts, he puts the key in, in the ignition to start the car. Does the car start? Let's find out. Oh, by the way, let me roll this a little bit out this way. One moment. There's more to this table, as you can see. Does the car start? Uh, I mean, it, it shouldn't be a 50-50. It's likely. You know, because you never know. So it's likely that the car starts. So 75 or below is a yes. And this is where the story gets interesting. 78. No, the car doesn't start. So in my mind, in my mind, before I should have mentioned, um, so I could help everybody think the way I think, if that's something you're interested in when it comes to solo play. When I said, does the car start? Many thoughts went through my mind. What if it doesn't? What if it does? What if it's an extreme no? What is it if it's an extreme yes? What's an extreme yes to the car starting? You know, um, uh, a yes would have been the car started but it might have been low on gas and he needs to go to the gas station. So now he might be a little bit late. An extreme yes would have been he's perfectly fine, ready to go, full tank of gas. A no in this case is the car and it's so close to a yes. So you see 78 to a 75. It's not really supposed to be that way, the system, but I do it. So if it's like, if it was like a 80 or a 90, you know, that's a really deep into the nose, almost to ex extreme no. But when it's so close to a yes, I go, okay, it started, it started. After a while, he's trying, he's pumping the gas. I don't know if that matters anymore for fuel injected cars, but you know, carburetors, you pump the gas. Um, okay, well then here we go. He has an older car. So he's, he's pumping the gas to start it, and, and he's low on gas. That's the no. That's why it's so close to a yes. He's low on gas. He needs to get gas before he, he forgot to get gas last night when he was partying. So he needs to get gas before he gets to work. And he's like, how am I going to do this? I have to, I have to get like a, just a half a gallon just to get me to work at least, maybe something like that. So let's, let's throw something in here. Let's do an action and a subject. Let's say it started, he started driving. Did something happen along the way 
Did he get to the gas station um, uninterrupted? Okay, he has enough gas to get to the gas station, but did something stop him, like traffic or something? Let's roll, let's roll on the table. So we're going to do action. <laughs> so we got to, oh, no, no, I'm sorry. I don't think it matters here. So we have a 66. Oh, it doesn't matter anyways. So we have a 66, which is above our chaos rank. So it doesn't, we don't go to the event focus table. But we don't go to the event focus table if we're rolling on the action, action and subject. So 11, 22, 33 on these doesn't uh, mean we go to this. A doubles on the fate chart means we go to this. I'm going to pull this down a little bit. That means we go to this. So anyways, okay, so 66, action, carry, subject. 83. Carry riches. Carry riches. Now, this is where your interpretation skills need to work. You need to really think hard. Immediately, I was thinking there is a, you know, the, I think they call them brinks. I'm not too sure. You know, the, the, the big armored vans that have money from the retail stores and banks that they carry in the back of them? Uh, I was thinking one of them's broken down in front of them on the street. But I'm like, how can you make a story about that, you know? Carry riches. Carry riches. So while you're while I'm thinking, you should be thinking as well. Let me know in the comments what you're thinking right now. What would you interpret carry riches to be? And just don't re-roll. Try. Try hard. I mean, what is, I'm a, I, if I'm wrong, put in the comments or whatever, but 100 times 100, isn't that 10,000 combinations? This, these two charts are, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but I don't think I am. So it's 100 times 100, that's a 10,000 combinations, okay? So use every one. Every time you roll, use it. So carry monies. Or was it? Carry monies, was that? Carry riches. Okay, I'm gonna go with that. There's an armored car, in, an armored truck in front of him on the road, broken down. Um, and it's really a narrow out, like an like really, he's you know he's basically trust, he's trying to get to the gas station, but he but where he had to go is very narrow, and there's a lot of, it's not a one way street, but it's it's really narrow, so he can't get around this truck. The truck broke down. But he, if he sits behind the truck, one, he's going to be late, and two, he's going to run out of gas. So, is he, is there enough space around the truck to drive around, or is there too much traffic? So, we're going to say it's rush hour, so I'm going to say it's, it's unlikely. Actually, I'm going to say it's very unlikely. It's very unlikely, a 25 or below that he's going to be able to get around this truck because of the traffic on the other side of the road. Let's see. So 25 or below is a yes. Um, forgot, I already forgot the question. Sorry, I'm filming very late. I have to because I have children. If, if there is room, 25 or below, is it a yes? We're going to find out. Wow, so close this night. No, there's not enough room. There's not enough room. So, what does he do? Let's see. Let's do action and subject again. Action. 85. Negligence. Negligence, huh? Let me move this too. Since we're not going to use any of these ranks. Negligence. Six, reality, neglect reality. Okay, so, <laughs> so what Michael starts doing is, 
rubbing his temples and going, this can't be happening. This can't be happening. I don't believe it. It's, it's, it's just a dream. I'm still even sleeping. And he starts slapping his face. He starts slapping his cheeks, his face. He's like, I can't be, this can't be real. This can't be real. I got to get to work today. I can't be late. I wanted to get this promotion. If, I, if I'm late, I'm going to look like I'm a, a, a incompetent. Um, I got, I got to get to work. So is anyone behind him? Can he just drive backwards? See, this is where, in, when you're playing in group settings as well, you should be asking the DM a lot of questions. Like, I, I never understood when, let's say you're playing fantasy. Now, this ties into solo here, because I'm going to mention the fate chart. When you're playing in a group, and people don't ask questions, the DM wants you to ask questions. They want you to ask questions. It's part of the fun. People don't ask, like, okay, let's go to this dungeon. All right, let's walk in. You know, like, why aren't they asking questions like perception checks or anything like that or if you're playing D&D or whatever you're playing, Savage Worlds? Why aren't you asking, is there traps? I don't know, roll perception. You know, like, they just walk in and all of a sudden they get hurt or something like that. So in Solo, your, D your DM, your GM is the fate chart. Ask as many questions as you want. So is there anybody behind me? Um, once again, I'm going to say very... Likely. Um, well, I just realized if I didn't, if I screwed it up, I said very unlikely that there's people around. Like I can't get through. So regardless, if I screw that up, I'll put that in the notes. <clears throat> it's very likely that people are behind me. Now see this. You have to ask the question correctly. So, is there pe are there people behind me? Very likely, 85 or below. Don't go, it's, it's very unlikely that I can get around the people behind me because it doesn't make any sense. You see what I'm saying? It's very important the way you ask questions on this, on this fate chart, especially when you get to this area because, you, because your answer most likely will be yes. So, if you ask a crazy question, your, your player can die or crash or whatever. So be careful how you ask. Uh, so very likely that there's people behind me. 85 or below is a yes. Oh, no, there is nobody behind. Very close to a uh, yes. So there is no one behind me. But there are people starting to drive into the road. Like you see them in your rear mirror way back at the corner. They're starting to turn in to... The street. Do you go in reverse? Let's go in reverse. So we started going in reverse. And we start honking our horn. <laughs> we start going in reverse and start honking our horn. Michael keeps going and going and going and going. And the cars... Um, well, you know what? Do the cars realize? I think they do. I, I think they do. They, they're going to get two and two. They're going to connect it together. And see that there's an armored car that's broken down and they see a car going back um, towards them in reverse. I'm saying it's uh, very likely that they're going to back up. So 85 or below is a yes. 45. I was almost an extreme. Oh, here we go. Random event. So that was almost an extreme yes. I thought that was a four. Um... An extreme yes would have been a 16. You see that 16 right there? A 16 or below would have been an extreme, ye extreme yes. So now we have a random event. So it is a yes. They do get out of the way. But what's the random event? Now, I don't have threads and all this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make things up right now. Okay, event focus. Here we go. So D100. 93. NPC positive. Okay, so let's say that, um, wow, it's right on 93 too. Um, the person backing up, the person backing up is a co-worker. Sees Michael backing up and pull, you know, rolls down his window and says, Michael, is that you? 
Yeah, it is you. What are you doing over here? You taking a shortcut? And he's like, no, I need gas. I think I'm going to run out. Well, you know, park your car over here. You know, put some money in the, in the meter. And we'll come back for it later. Just park your car here and I'll, I'll drive you to work. I got tons of gas. Well, all right. So Michael hurries up, parks the car, puts as much money as he can in the meter. Um, locks the car, makes sure there's nothing, he didn't forget nothing in the car. Heads over to, okay, no, 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 hold on, hold on. Did he forget something in the car? You see how you have to stop yourself? Did Michael forget something important in this car? I say he's in a rush. I say he's already pissed off. I say it's fairly, it's somewhat likely. It's somewhat likely that he left something in the car, 65 or below. <laughs> Almost an extreme yes. So he forgot something in the car. Was the thing that he forgot important? Um, let's roll, roll on that. So, I mean, what's important is probably in his pockets, his cell phone and wallet. The most important thing when you're going to work is yourself. You know, that's the most important thing is you. But, you know, did he forget something important in the car? Um, I'm going to say, I'm going to say unlikely. 35 or below. Unlikely. No, he has everything. So he didn't forget nothing in the car. Okay, so him and let's say it's John. John and Michael. They're hurrying up saying, you know, I got to hurry up to... I didn't know there would be a parked, uh, you know, broken down uh, armored car here. We got to hurry up to work. I know a shortcut. <laughs> so, um, so they take the shortcut. Uh, did the shortcut save them time? I'd say it's 50-50, 50, 50, 50 or below. The shortcut did save them time. And Michael looks at John go, man, I didn't know about that shortcut. He goes, yeah, my mom used to teach me that one. So... So, you know, we, we go quick to like the grocery store or something like that. We go pass all the traffic. Yeah, that's cool, John. I'm going to use that from now on. Yeah, well, don't tell too many people or it's going to just be a traffic jam just like the rest of the city. Yeah, don't worry. I'm not going to tell nobody. And so they continue on to work. Now, John, they have to briefly go on a highway or a freeway for a couple of a couple of uh, exits, you know, down. They have to go on the highway. 50, uh, no, no, I'm not going to say 50, 50. Uh, very unlikely, 25 or below, very unlikely there is a accident. So 25 or below is a yes. There's no accident on the road. So they get off on the exit they need to go, and they go into their parking lot, park, uh, it's 7.55, let's say. It's 7.55. They have five minutes left till 8 o'clock. And let's see. Let's do a random of action and subject. Let's get some craziness going on right now. Or maybe they won't be. Uh, action. 34. Lie. <laughs> Well, this is starting out well, right? Is it say lie? Yeah. 34, lie. Subject, 97, lie leadership. Okay, so let me know in the comments if you're still listening. Thank you, by the way, if you are, um, to my storytelling RPG. Uh, let me know in the comments what you are thinking. Lie leadership. Um I'm thinking Michael gets a phone call. Michael gets a phone call and it's about an employee telling him Another employee saying that, hey, I overheard the boss saying that they're thinking about promoting you. Uh, but we know, 
Michael doesn't know, but we know that lot, that boss was lying. Probably the employee heard the conversation in an office, you know, earshot away, but walked away excited, ready to tell Michael, but they didn't finish off. He didn't finish listening to the conversation where it's like, hey, you know, once Michael comes here, I'm going to give him promotion. Then that coworker wa- runs away to call Michael, but he didn't stay to listen to <laughs> when pigs fly and all the, you know, big wigs are smoking cigars with their feet up. <laughs> yeah, when pigs fly, you know, so that there's that. So he's all excited. So Michael's like, really? Are you serious? Yeah, come on up. You're probably going to get promoted today. So he tells John, John, I just got a call saying they're thinking about promoting me. And John's kind of like, really? You know, you've only been here about three months. But he's like, well, you know, good for you. You know, with, you know, holding back opinions. You know, good for you. You know, I've been here three times as long as you, Dav. But it's all right. Fine. So they go in the elevator. And um, they get into the elevator about, you know, 7.58. Takes about a minute to get to where they need to go. Okay. But let's see, let's see if the elevator gets stuck. Now, I'm going to put this at a no way. It's not impossible. Nothing's really impossible. I don't really use impossibles unless it's really crazy. Like, I'm going to punch, I'm going to fly to the sun and punch it, you know, or something like that. Something weird. That's impossible. But I, I, fairly, I go to the no way. That's as far as I go, and I go to a, sh- a sure thing. I don't usually do has to be or impossible. Okay, I go, no way, 15 or below is a yes that something bad happens to the elevator. Nothing bad happens to the elevator. They get on their floor, and Michael's just looking around, and John goes, okay, uh, see you later, Michael. Um, Good luck with everything. It was nice uh, seeing you. If you need to ride back to your car, let me know. All right, thank you. So Michael walks around with a big cheeky smile on his face and walks past one of the managers and smiles and nods and the manager smiles back and shakes his head like, what was that about? And the manager, his manager walks by him and stands in front of him and says, Michael? And Michael's like, yes, I need to see you in my office really quickly. And Michael goes, oh, this in his head. He goes, this is it. This is the promotion. This is the promotion I'm, I need This is so awesome. So Michael follows the manager to the office. They sit down, and there's another manager sitting in there with him. And he shakes the hand of that manager, and the manager shakes, you know, takes his hand and shakes it, sits down and says, uh, I don't know what he says. Action is subject. Here we go. Action. 85. Negligence. <laughs> That's not good. Negligence. 99. Anger. <laughs> okay. Um, um, the manager looks at Michael and says, Do you know why you're in here, Michael? And Michael goes, I have an idea. <laughs> do you see how, how crazy? And I do understand, side note here, for solo RPG, I do understand how many people think that this is a, like storytelling if you play with solo, solo RPG. This right here is a story. But I've already showed on many other uh, series on my channel uh, that you can play like you played in a group with solo. Um, you just miss the camaraderie and, you know, hanging out with friends, but there's a many, many benefits of solo play. And I'll probably do a video on that later. But anyways, um, but you could see how it could, you know, the story can come alive when you do solo play. So anyways, the manager goes, well, you know, um, we're a little disappointed in you, Michael. And Michael's smile just slowly turns into surprise. You know, like his lips went down, his eyes sunk a little bit. He he his shoulders shrugged forward a bit. You know, he's sinking in his seat and he starts getting clammy. He's like, 
what do you mean you're disappointed? Well, Michael, you know, um, we're looking at your numbers, and you are an assistant manager here, and we thought you would do a lot better with sales because the team is looking towards you for help. We have team members out there that have blown the sales out of the water when you, your sales are underwater. Now, we understand that you being a manager, you don't have to be uh, the sale team. You know, you have sales people for that to help sell for you. But how can they take leadership from someone that is less competent in the business? So frankly, you know, I'm, I, I took a gamble on you, Michael. Uh, you were young. You were ready to go. And lately, you know, you've been coming into work late. You know, you're about five minutes late today. Uh, I've been here since 7.30, 30 minutes prior. So I am salary, I understand. But you also have ambitions to become a salaried member of this team. So if you're, if you're coming in late, how am I going to expect you to even come in early? Um, you know, sometimes you're shaven, sometimes you're not. Sometimes it looks like you just woke up out of bed and ran here. Um, what's been going on with you? And you, you start thinking in your mind, what do I say? What do I say? What do I say? Well, what do we say? Action. 16. Inquire. That's weird. <laughs> 83. Riches. Again with the riches. Well, I, I'm really trying my best, but I didn't think that when I got this position, I thought my salary would go up. When I got this job, inquire riches, remember? When I got this job, I'm still being paid the same as my associates, my sales team. And I only get a bonus if my sales team and myself get sales. So it's hard for me to lead a sales team and build and sell on top of that as well. And, you know, the other manager sitting there. Let's say this other manager is, like, even higher than the manager that's speaking to Michael. And looks at him and, you know, like, tilts his head. <clears throat> kind of in agreement and kind of not. And says, well, Michael, well, those are sacrifices you need to make at this moment. This is the other higher manager. You know, I'm looking for another manager for my team and I really want to hire from within but if you're already complaining about pay um, this might not be the job for you so does Michael say then I'd rather just go back to being a salesperson let's say it's 50-50 oh wow an extreme, the, the highest extreme yes you can get, a one. And I take that as like a critical extreme. So extreme yes would have been a 10 or below, right here. This is a one. So what, what I, okay, if it's a yes, if it was an extreme no, I would have said, um, no, I love it. I, I, there's nothing else I want to do. I'm going to do everything I can to make this better. A regular no would have been, no, it's, it's okay, just, I thought it would have been a little different, but I'm okay. I'm okay. I could work. I could work with this, and I'm going to try even harder. A yes would have been, is there any other way, he would have negotiated something to, to, to make it feel like he had to stay, but if it didn't work out in the role play, he would have said, then I'd rather go back to being a salesperson. With this extreme yes, it's he gets up and says, you know, he just stands up because an extreme, the highest extreme yes, he stands up and says, you know what, I don't want to do this anymore. Can I just do? Can I just go back to doing what I used to do? 
um, before this, and, he's, and the manager goes, well, you were one of our best salespersons. I'd rather just do that. Now, do they give the job offer back to him? Like his old job back? They, don't want, they already said that he's a very good salesperson. Are they going to do it? Let's see. Let's see. I would say... But they're seeing that he's getting kind of, you know, a little bit off. But they don't want to lose one of their good salespersons. 50-50, here we go. 18. So almost a... Oh! 12. Oh, even closer. So, um, almost an extreme yes. So they said, well, of course. Go into the office. Um... We'll get you a new badge. Uh, would you like to end your day as assistant manager or anything like that, et cetera, et cetera? No, no, it's okay. I'd rather just be a, a salesperson once again. Well, if that's what you want, Michael. Yes, that's what I want. All right, well, it was good while it lasted, and I'm sorry it didn't work out. Uh, this, that, the other, you know, kissing butt here and there. <laughs> But really saying other things in their head, behind their back. Um, and that's it. A little story. I don't know how long this took. Didn't really, didn't really want to take this long. But you could see a boring story of Michael getting up out of bed to go to work. Done with charts. And a paradise. Not physical dice though. So if I can make a story about Michael, the assistant manager of a sales team, boring life, boring story in a way, you know, there's no like dragons or something like that. If I could do that, by the way, it's it's eight it's one eighteen a.m. right now. I am very tired, very tired. If I could do that, tired, uh, rubbing my eyes so I could see clearly at the screen with this type of with these four charts. Imagine what else you could do in solo RPG. And with that, I thank you for watching. If you watched all the way, let me know in the comment below. Say fate chart. And now I'll know if you watched all the way. So, and I won't forget either who watches all the way. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, I hope you enjoyed it. Share, like, subscribe, etc., etc. It all helps out. Just starting up this channel. Happy gaming, everybody. Bye.